Hello. PCCL Channel greets you. We are going to talk here about the braking distance of a vehicle, asking ourselves whether this distance varies leg speed. If I drive twice as fast, does the braking distance double? Or is it otherwise? We will start right away with a first measurement, with a speed around 40 km per hour, to see. We can analyze the results here, there is a reaction distance. This distance corresponds to the reaction time. There, I let go of the throttle. And there I started to brake. In this graph, it appears that it took about a second for me to press the brake levers. One second is an average time. We don't all have the same reflexes. People who take a substance that suppresses reflexes, such as alcohol, will take longer to react. The same if the person is tired. It is better that this time be as short as possible for safety. So if I go 11 meters per second, in one second the vehicle will have traveled 11 meters. The braking distance depends on the condition of the road, of the tires and the vehicle. Some vehicles brake better than others. Here we have 8.21 meters. I will memorize. So I can compare. At 40 kilometers per hour, it took me just under 20 meters to stop. I'm going to do the same thing by driving twice as fast. So, the ideal would be that I have the same reaction time. But that, I cannot guarantee it. It varies. I'll take a look at the braking distance. Look here, I was 8.21 meters when I drove 39 kilometers per hour. On my second try, I was at 78 by the time I started to brake. I take the information on the graph above. and it took me 35.3 meters to stop. The braking distance is four times greater. So for twice the speed I have a braking distance which is four times longer. The braking distance is not proportional to the speed, but to the square of the speed. If you are going three times faster, you will need a braking distance which will be three times three equals nine. Nine times greater. Remember that the stopping distance is the sum of the reaction distance and the braking distance. What if the road is wet? It will affect the braking distance, of course. I must take the same one as earlier. So, I'm going to try to get to around 40. If I manage to stall around 40 here. To notice that on a wet road, the braking distance. If it was 8.21 meters, here it is 6.83 meters. The condition of the road can therefore affect the braking distance. By downloading the simulation, you can try to brake at night. And why not, at night, not rainy weather? That's it for this video. Thank you.